Hello everyone, my name is Kiran Vian. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach you about the uh, pharmacognosy families. This is the continuity of the video tutorials of pharmacognosy videos. In this video, I am going to teach you about the family that is the Eposinacy. I will give you 10 families uh, video tutorials series wise. So in uh, families, I'm going to teach you about the plants, its habitat and so many things. So let me open my slides. So yeah, today's my lecture is about the Eposinacy family. In Eposinacy family, we are going to discuss, discuss about the two main plants, which is the Ketranthius roseus and Rauwolfia serpentine. Okay, these two main plants are found in the Eposinacy family basically. And by uh, learning these two plants, what will be the result of learning these slides? After completing this video tutorial, a student will be able to identify habitat, chemical constituents of above plants, and mode of action, structures, chemical nature and medicinal importance so let's begin so you can see as you can see in this slide you can see the family is the eposinacy family and in eposinacy family mostly the five petal plants and the serpentine like structure plants are found right <coughs> sorry in catherineus roseus you can see here in this picture uh, here is the five petals one two three four five five petals in a one flower that is the Catherineus roseus. This is the indication or identification of the Catherineus roseus plant. <coughs> now in the next picture you can see that is the Rauwolfier serpentina. In this picture you can see the shape of this plant like this. This is the moving head of this plant as you can see in this figure and many more other figures uh, pictures like this. Here you can see here is moving head, here is the moving head and the moving head of this flower indicates the shape of the snake. As you can see the shape of the snake tail is a moving. So moving shape of the snake tail indicates the shape of the uh, Rauwolfia serpentine uh, plant. That is the indication of the shape of the uh, serpentina. Here you can see it's a moving head. So uh, moving head is indication of that this is it's shaped like a moving tail of the snake. So in Eposinacy we will discuss about the Ketranthus and Rowolfia. So in this slide, I will teach you that in Ketranthius, this is they, these are this is a genus. Ketranthius is a genius, a genus, and Coracius, Lancius, Longifolius. Ovilius and Pusilius and Roseus are the species. These main are the species. So from these species, we are we are going to learn about the Roseus family, basically. Okay. So in Eposinacy, the Catherinthus Roseus, Catherinthus is a genera and Roseus is a species. So that's the uh, Mother Agascar and Periwinkle or Rosy Periwinkle. These are the synonyms or other names of the Catherinthus roseus plant. Okay, so this is a plant, five petals, one, two, three, four, five petals of the flower. And it's an other name is the Sadabahar, which is the evergreen plant. Naturalized throughout the tropics and parts of the subtropics. So it is basically found in the subtropical regions of the world, okay? Its herbs or shelves 30 centimeter to 1 meter in height. Its height is a 1 meter or 30 centimeter, right? Its flowers are very attractive, white or pink flower comprising five petals. As you can see in this picture, the, uh, the color is a white pinkish color and five petals uh, in the flower. So its leaves are, the lead three dark green leaves are arranged in opposite pairs. As you can see in this picture, this, this, is, this is the plant, Catherineus roseus plant, and here the leaves are very dark green. And in the pairs, there's a one and two. This is a pair of the leaves, and they are very leathery. It means that it's, uh, it's like a strong in nature. Fruits. Each fruit is made up of two narrow cylindrical follicles, which house numerous grooved leaves. As you can see in this picture, there is a two pairs of the narrow cylindrical follicles. This is a narrow cylindrical follicles pair. 
in this pair, the seeds are found. The seeds are present in this uh, narrow cylindrical follicles, grooved seeds, numerous grooved seeds present in this um, numerous narrow cylindrical follicle. So its chemical constituents, all parts of the plant is medicinally important. As you, as you can see in this picture, that this is the petals and flower, leaves, roots and stem and everything is very important. Every part of the plant is very important medicinal point of view. How where alkaloids are mostly concentrated in the root bark. As you can see that in this picture, their roots here, their roots are very much uh, important because uh, in the uh, mostly the root uh, root bark is concent is mostly concentrated in the alkaloidal uh, ingredients or we can say the uh, the chemical constituents are found in the root bark. These include three important alkaloids of Rawalfia group. That is the ajmalicine, raspirin, and serpentine. Okay. So in this slide, I'm going to teach you about that. Every part of the plant is very important medicinal point of view in the, in the point of medicine, medicinally, and in the root bark, in the root bark at the end point of the plant is very concentrated of the alkaloidal constituents. So very important, three important alkaloid raw wolfia groups are ajmalcine, raspirin, and serpentine. In addition to these, the other important alkaloid found are the Vendoline, vincristine, and vinblastine. These these other alkaloids are also very important, which are basically found in this plant. So you can see here the chemical uh, the chemical structure of the uh, ajmalcine and vincristine here, and many other vinblastine and vendoline. Here you can see the structures. How you will learn and how you will memorize the structures of these uh, chemical constituent by practicing by practice you you will learn these uh, structures so the medicinal uses of the catranthias roseus plant are used against malaria its main and basic uh, uh, medicinal uses that this plant can be used in the malaria against the malaria the juice of the leaves is used as antidote against passive stings right the root is considered tonic and stomach okay the infusion of the leaves is given in the treatment of monorrhagia, right? This is a disease of the female, okay? The alkaloid like ajmalcine, serpentine, and respirin have hypotensive, sedative, and tranquilizing properties. As you can see, these are the basic uh, medicinal uses of this plant. That It is used against the malaria. It is also used against the stings. It is also used as a tonic and stomachic. And it is it's the leaves infusion. The leaves infusion of this plant is the in use in the treatment of malaria, which is the disease of females. And this alkaloids like ajmalcine, serpentine, and resperin have the main medicinal uses that is the tranquilizing properties and hypotensive and sedatives in the nature. So you can see it's not nature, it's the medicinal use, right? So you can see this is a vincristine and three-dimensional structure here. Vincristine is very important because its medicinal use is very much important in the field of uh, um, medicine. So here you can see the medicinal uses of other medicinal uses of the um, Catherinthias roseus are the plant possesses anti-cancer properties as well, okay? The alkaloids like vincristine, vinblastine, obtained from the plant is used in the treatment of leukemia. The main use of the vincristine and vinblastine are the useful in the treatment of leukemia and Hodgkin's lymphoma, okay? Periwinkle, periwinkle is a synonym of Catherinthias roseus, as I told you in the first slide. Periwinkle can be dangerous if consumed orally. So it's written here that if we consume orally the periwinkle, it, it may be the uh, dangerous for the human health. The plant should be avoided by pregnant women because it can uh, spread the, uh, you know, the poison in the body or maybe can be cross the placenta and may, can be dangerous for the pregnant female. So herbal remedies made with periwinkle help in to take memory loss and blood circulation. So here you can see that to take and memory loss and blood circulation, three problems can be sought out by the this periwinkle plant. That's a herbal, herbal remedies. The alkaloid also inhibit the growth, growth of Vibrio cholera, cholera causing bacterium. 
the leaf extract of periwinkle serve as a useful antibacterial agent for the treatment of staphylococcal and staphylococcal infections you can see that the leaves of this plant are very much important because these leaves can be treated against staphylococcal uh, infections these two type of infection often lead to rheumatic heart trouble in human beings so you can see that it is also useful in the human beings uh, rheumatic uh, heart problems okay so you can see the mechanism of action of the Catherinthias roseus here. Normally in body, the uh, whenever the mitosis, uh, whenever the normal mitosis occurs. So in metaphase, you can see this is a chromosome, and in chromosome, this is the uh, chromosomes are separated here. Okay, they are separated here, and these lines are actually the spindles. A spindles means they are here. You can see in this picture, this spindle is the tubulin molecule stretched to form mitotic spindle. And now in this picture, you can see in the anaphase, the uh, chromosomes are attached together by the uh, robe-like nature, which is the tubulin, microtubulin proteins. Okay, so proteins are attaching the chromosomes in the cell in the anaphase. Okay, this is the normal phase and normal mechanism of the body mitosis mitosis okay now you can see in this picture that is the what is the function of vinca alkaloids here here you can see the metaphase the tubulin protein is in the uh, fail in the polymerization like, like i'm saying here that here you can see the tubulin is molecule stacked in the form of in the form of mitotic spindle but here you can see this is spreadable in the uh, small small molecules it's not stacked here so uh, in anaphase, the chromosomes are not attached with the help of tubulins. We, they are separated. So we give the Vinca alkaloid. So that will, a dissolution of the mitotic spindle leads to the cell death. So this occurs in the an abnormal cells of the body. Whenever, uh, like cancerous cell here, you can see the spindle is the uh, molecules fail to polymerize the presence of Vinca alkaloids, right? Now, conclusion. Conclusively, it can be said that periwinkle commonly grown as an ornamental plant in urban areas is a plant of immense medicinal importance. So you can see, the, you can see that uh, the Catherinthias rosea, which is the periwinkle, uh, commonly grown as an anxious plant in urban areas, which is the medically very important. The plant possesses several alkaloids which are useful in the treatment of hypertension, insomnia, insanity, cholera and blood cancer like leukemia. Now moving forward towards the another plant that is the Rauwalfia. So you can see the pictures of this plant. These are the some pictures, Google pictures of the uh, Rauwalfia plant. So Leon Herr Rauwalf uh, also spelled Leon Hart. That is the Rao Wolf, 21 June 1535, 15 September to 1596. So this was the man who introduced the, who introduced Rao Wolfia plant, was a German physician, botanist, and a traveler, right? So uh, uh, the Rao Wolfia plant is an evergreen, woody, glabrious, and perennial shrub with maximum height up to 60 centimeter. What is perennial? Perennial is that which is grow in every season of the year. Okay, this is an evergreen plant. It's a woody, it's a glabrious and perennial uh, in, in a perennial plant and its maximum height is up to 60 centimeter. The plant possesses tuberous root with pale brown coke and elliptic to uh, lanceolate or abovate leaves in whorls of three. The family include 50 species. As I told you in the Catherinthias roseal, there were some families, but here you can see this family includes the 50 species of the uh, plants distributed worldwide in the region of the Himalayas. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, it is found in the Himalayas, India, Peninsula, Burma, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka, and is indigenous to India, Bangladesh, and other regions of the Asia. So the chemical constants of Rauwalfia plant are the ajmaline, ericine, and corinanthine, dasperdine, lancansine, and rauwalfacine, and reskinamine, raspersine, resalpine, serpentine, yohimibine. So these are some structures of the chemical constants, that is the ajmalcine, and some here, okay, you will memorize by practicing these structure. Now, the traditional uses of this plant are the in Ayurvedic and in Yunani system of medicine, 
the root of our serpentina is used as a remedy for curing hypertension okay its basic and main traditional use of this plant is the hypertension insomnia mental agitation gastrointestinal disorders excitement epilepsy dromas anxiety excitement schizophrenia sedative insomnia and insanity okay these were the main problems which were uh, which were solved by this plant okay which were treated by this plant that is the rawalfia serpentine so the pharmacological uses are respirin is a anti hypertensive okay azmaline is an anti arrhythmic and serpentine type 2 topoisomerase inhibitor anti psychotic properties it has so my presentation is over here hope you understand my presentation if not you may ask the questions in the comment section and wait for my next video which is which is about the another family and its plants right so take care and love is